Hey guys, it's Alessandra. Welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but we are in a brand new car. Um, and I will show you guys some clips from that day, but I don't know. I am in the vlogging mood. I'm in a really good mood today. Um, it's Friday, the 22nd of January. Um, life's been a little bit crazy as usual. You guys know I say that in every single one of my videos, but there's always something going on. Um, but yeah, just back to the school grind. I got a new car. So let me explain that to you guys. I figured it was a good way to start off the video by sitting inside my car because that's probably like the biggest life update I have for you guys is new car. So my old one I got when I graduated from high school um, in 2018. I got that car because, well, I was supposed to go to Italy, okay? That was gonna be my graduation gift for my parents because I haven't been there in literally so long. And then my passport was expired because like when you're a little kid, your passport's only good for five years. When you're an adult, it's good for 10. So my sister, we were dropping her off at the airport and they're like, oh, you wanna go look at cars? I was like, okay, cool. We saw a car that we liked. Obviously we probably shouldn't have like just went and got a car the first time that we go looking for one, but it happened. It was a used car. I already had a good amount of miles on it. Um, I mean, probably overpaid a bit for it for the amount of miles it had. And my parents just kind of regretted making that decision. And I wasn't forcing my parents to get me anything. Um, I just think they felt bad for me because I couldn't go to Italy and they knew I needed a car because with college and work and stuff, um, it was a lot of driving and they have their own jobs so I can't be using their car all the time. That car was great. I loved her. Like she was a 2017 Hyundai Elantra and she was awesome. She literally within like two and a half, three years that I had that car literally gave me no issues like whatsoever. I had to maybe change one thing, the spark plugs and then one little like ignition coil thing that happened. I don't know all the technical terms with it, but spark plugs and ignition coil and it was pretty much all under a hundred dollars. Um, and I had a friend who knew how to change those things out and help me fix the car when it was having a little vibration issue. But okay, my sister's looking for me. <laughs> I'm in the car. Oh. I'm filming a video. Anyways. Um, but it had a lot of miles on it. it drove it so much that eventually like it was gonna need new tires It was gonna need new brake pads um, Probably just new brake pads because like the car would squeal like make like a squealing sound when I would brake and they were like Oh, you want to go look at a new car? And I'm like, okay, sure. Like let's go look um, but like I had no intention intention of actually going and purchasing a new car, but there was a I don't know we managed to get a decent deal They offered me a good enough amount for my other car so we went ahead and did it. I will show you guys the clips from that day. Saying goodbye to my old car. <laughs> it's so sad, but so exciting at the same time, guys. This was the old car. I got this back when I graduated from high school um, in 2018. So, you know, it's a little bit of an upgrade. And it actually comes with Matt's other car and it doesn't come with missing pieces. That's, I don't need any of that stuff. Uh, I looked through that. I have everything else though. The second key is inside already. Yeah, it's in the box. Oh, in here. Yeah. Okay. The carpet is there. But yeah, so that is pretty much that with the car. I love this car so much and I'm literally so thankful for my parents just for like helping me out with the car and all that. All right, guys. So I got a 2021 Hyundai Elantra. I love this car so 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 much um i loved my other car it was super reliable it was amazing it was just literally the same car just the 2017 but this has so many more features on it and it's just so much better here's the steering wheel the side mirrors have that blind spot collision assistance if that's the right word for that but pretty much when you put the blinker on um and you're next to a car it'll beep at you to not switch lanes which is a really good feature which i feel like all cars should have that um, so then we have the seven inch touch screen. I think it's seven or eight inches. I don't remember, but it has Apple CarPlay. It's really cool because you can click on your maps and you can see just on this big screen, you don't have to look down at your phone when you want to GPS something. Your music is on there, your text pop up on here, um, phone calls and all that. So it's a really, really nice feature to have. Like, I love this so much. It's super helpful, especially when we went to Universal the other day. We took my car and we were able to see all of the directions right up on the screen. Obviously, it has the two little USB things up here. You can charge your phone or play music through that. I just like how there's not a lot of buttons on here. Like, there's not too much going on. It's a very clean look, which is what I love. And let me show you guys the backup camera also. It has this cool little feature here 
that if you're like parked and you want to see how um you know see behind you or see how close you are to like a line behind you to make sure that you're not like too far next to a line or too far like past the line or anything like that you can click it and i don't want you to like necessarily see my house or anything but it does show you guys the uh rear view of where you're parked and there's another button on here that you can click that shows you like um where like the bottom of your car is to make sure that you're not sitting too far out onto the street or anything like that uh yeah that's pretty much it for the interior i love this car so much this is the front of it look at these leds there's freaking bird poop on my car please ignore that but she is so cute why are you recording everything because i'm vlogging what You look so cute. Are you gonna dance? <laughs> I put on some lip pumping gloss. This lip pumper gloss actually works pretty good. Yeah, but that's I just want. Yeah, I have this thing that makes your lips. My lips don't look huge, but they definitely look. They feel more like plump, you know. I'm gonna put on a ton of the mascara, but this mascara actually works kind of good. It's a little mini Too Faced better than sex mascara. So that'll be cute to put in my purse for work because I'm too lazy to do my makeup at home. So if anything, if I put makeup on, it's when I'm, while I'm at work before people get in. <laughs> Gonna do some cool. <laughs> at work this morning it was a crazy crazy long day like the spa these past couple weekends at least this weekend for sure it's been like insanely busy and just like packed room to room with like clients and um customers and stuff or is that the same thing clients and like therapists and just a bunch of employees are uh, everyone's working a ton lately i am kind of tired but um, we are going to a friend's house to go watch this Conor McGregor fight. Honestly, I don't really care for it too, too much. I am excited though because tomorrow we're going to go watch the Bucks game at our friend's house. Um, just a couple of us. So I'm excited for that because if they win tomorrow, then we go to the uh, Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl is supposed to be in um, Tampa this year, which is lit even though obviously i'm not going to that because i just finished taking a shower i washed my hair today because it was getting super greasy um recently i actually got some stuff from olaplex because i won a giveaway for my friend's page her name is kennedy um she's a girl who cuts my hair she's awesome and uh she was doing an olaplex giveaway and i just so happened to win uh the second draw of names so i love olaplex by the way i know i've talked about it on my channel a bunch of times now because it's literally like the best shampoo and conditioner that i've ever tried on my hair um but i got like the whole system or treatment i'm gonna open the door because it is super hot in here i'm filming so if you hear me talking that's why um <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe you thought I was talking to someone. For yourself? Yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that I got. Um, obviously, the shampoo and conditioner. But there's a couple hair treatment things that are included in this. So this is number zero. This is a intensive bond building hair treatment. And um, this is just something that you leave in your hair for like 10 minutes. Second treatment, which this one comes with a mini um version but i also have the full size one it's the olaplex hair perfector number three this is another treatment for your hair I'm sweating because i'm hot so ignore my sweat stains on my face 
obviously then we have the shampoo and conditioner which i've showed on my channel already if you guys haven't seen like my favorites video i made a couple months ago um but this is just a new bottle that i still have some at my boyfriend's house and at my house right now so that's just extra which is nice because i won't have to buy it again for a little while and then the next thing that i got is a leave-in treatment this is the number six bond smoother this is a leave-in reparative styling cream it's supposed to help it's supposed to help with frizz um and moisturize your hair so i put some of this after i uh, wash my hair and then i also put a couple drops in of this bonding oil that's supposed to give your hair some nice shine it's supposed to strengthen your hair also repair it at the same time so it's a cute little bottle that looks like this but yeah and this stuff is all super expensive like if you spent all your money on pretty much everything here i think it's like almost 150 or about that price range for everything yeah and i did my skincare routine all of that so when i come home later after watching the game or the fight i won't have to do much except uh take my contacts out and brush my teeth so i just didn't want to have to do all that later tonight because I know I'm going to be tired and too lazy to do all of that. So let's go bother my big sister. <laughs> um, you know, she was one day thinking about doing a podcast, guys. But, you she know, have your audience vote. yes, should she do a podcast? She feels like she has some good life advice and different since she, you know, wasn't born here. And, you know, she grew up in America as well. And also in Italy. I mean, you know, I feel like she could give you guys a lot of good, um, I don't know, different talk about different topics. Yeah, so maybe guys, you, you know, maybe all, I do yeah. have the microphone <laughs> in my Amazon um, cart. cart. So, so we got a comments, you have to push her to start a yes. podcast. I'm gonna steal some of your Laneige <laughs> lip sleeping mask. Well, are you? Because, um, that seems like something you're trying to Um, yeah, when, uh, barely. Yeah. Mira, this stuff is just, my lips are super sharp lately. Oh, really? I'm blue. Guys, so I've been vlogging a couple days. Um, really just fell off with the vlogging thing. I was like all motivated and shit, but we're back, okay? Um, so it's Tuesday and I am just now parking in West Park. It's like a cute little shoppy area with a bunch of stores and stuff um, and like apartments that has like a cute coffee shop and I wanted to like, you know, be all cute and go get coffee and order myself food because i haven't ate literally anything all day and i got off work like an hour ago and i'm just starving and my camera's dying like literally ugh, i'm just so annoyed right now i've been trying to find parking for literally like 15 minutes going around in circles and i finally found one i had to park on the side of the street which i didn't want to do but fuck it you know <laughs> a little bit later i ended up leaving that coffee place after like two hours because there was no plug near me um for my laptop to charge and mosquitoes and it was getting dark and a little bit chilly out because the sun was gone so i was like i'm just gonna leave um and the, and the wi-fi like was working and then it wouldn't work so i was like i'm just gonna go home well to my boyfriend's house and do homework in bed. I ended up finishing everything that is due tomorrow except one homework assignment for math, but that's not due until 11.59 at night. So I'll do it tomorrow. So it's Wednesday <laughs> and I was doing homework this morning and and uh, finally finished it so we can finally go eat because I did not want to eat and get distracted I just wanted to get my homework done so I don't have to do anything school related the rest of the day so we're gonna go to Publix I don't know if we're gonna go to Greenwise yet even though it's more aesthetically pleasing it has a lot of cute little like healthy things whatever um, but we're gonna go get Kodiak cake mix so we can make pancakes because they're so good and we haven't ate anything yet and we eat pretty much the same thing every time we're at my house so we want to go get something different even though I might make eggs too like just I don't know a little bit for both of us we're gonna go get that I also did a couple things for my sister like some coffee stuff because we ran out of coffee and uh, go on with our day. How nice and modern this looks. And I have, this is all new, by the way, guys. This, in my area where I live in, um, in Lando Lakes, they're starting to make a lot of new stuff. 
that wasn't here five, ten years ago. So it's kind of nice. What's up guys? So, little update for the day. So we went to go work out, we did that and we're like, oh, let's go on a walk because it's nice out. So we decided to go to Hyde Park or Bayshore. And we're walking around all these nice houses and then he had to pee and there's porta potties because there's always some kind of construction going on over here. So, you know, he just went in there. So he wouldn't be, um, what's the word? In pain? No, <laughs> when you get arrested for peeing in public. Um, public urination, I guess? I don't know, anyways. Now we're here and it's really nice weather and all that. It's a little bit, it's getting a little bit cooler now since the sun's away, but the mosquitoes are out. Oh my God, these people are gonna think we're following them. <laughs> yeah, these old people, we keep running into them and they probably think we're following them, but we're not. We're just or taking the we? same turns as them. Or are we? All right, y'all, we're back in the car and I wanted to let you guys know these clear windows will be no longer tomorrow. So, I'm nervous because I've never gotten anything done to my car, even though it's just tint. But, anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like my car would look so much better if the windows were tinted. And since it's black, and guys, of course I buy a fluffy sweater like a week and a half ago. And it's starting to get hot now in Florida. So, not really, I didn't really get that much use out of it. But it's fine, I'll have it for next time when it starts getting really, really cold again. Um, I know that we're probably going to have a couple more, like, tiny cold fronts for certain days this week yeah like this week but i don't know it's been pretty hot and humid some of these days so that's happening tomorrow after i get off of work and i'm excited what's up guys it's friday if i'm sitting weird like over here it's because the sun is shining and i'm trying to get my face out of it but what's up guys it's friday i didn't film anything yesterday but i wanted to add a one more day onto this vlog so we're here i know i left off telling you guys i was getting my car windows tinted and i did i'm so so happy with them so quick story about that so i booked an appointment to get my windows tinted on tuesday while i was at work and um i picked this place because my friend went there he said he liked it i was like okay cool we'll go thursday comes around I don't even get like a text message from this guy. Like I don't get any confirmation from this dude like if the appointment is still good. So I'm like, I had this feeling like I'm probably not getting my windows tinted today from this guy. So I text him and I'm like, is everything good for like the appointment, blah, blah, blah. Text me an hour later saying no, like something, something, something came up and we're gonna have to reschedule. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't know if about you guys, but when I'm the kind of person who like sets my mind on something, like I want to do it so i was like i'm getting my windows into today like i don't know where i'm gonna go but i'm getting them tinted today and i, I like remembered like in my head i was like there's this place i saw that does mobile denting so i looked it up and thankfully i found an appointment for literally that same thursday at 12 30 um 12 30 to 3 30 so i was like i am booking this right now and i don't care if it's like 10 bucks more expensive i'm just gonna pay it because i want it done right now it was so cool. I'll actually show you guys his business card, but he is in the Hillsborough County area. His name is Mike for Sunny Shield Tinting, right? Not Sunny Shield, Sun Shield Window Tinting. It's his card and ignore my broken nails. I have to get my nails done. But yeah, he literally pulled up to my job 
and within an hour and a half, I think hour and a half, two hours, he was already done. And I like left that day with my car windows tinted. So it was awesome. He was so nice, super helpful. I ended up doing 18% tint on all of my windows except the windshield. You guys can go check him out. He has that phone, uh, that phone number right there in the website where you can make the appointment. So if you live in Hillsborough County or the Tampa area, go check him out. All right, guys. So that's what the tint looks like. Also did the rear windshield. So. It looks so cool like that. I love it. What are we doing? Buying ingredients. <laughs> She's making um, some meals for TikTok because that's her new thing. <laughs> Thank, you well. Thank you for the support, guys. <laughs> Go follow her on TikTok. So I finished my practice test. I did okay on it, but there's a couple of little things I do need to look through for the actual test on Sunday, but yeah so anyways we are here at this grocery store and uh my sister's just picking up some things because you know like i said she's on tiktok now making these different recipes and stuff so we're here with her just to get out of the house and then we're probably gonna go to chipotle so i already finished eating dinner and i took a shower and everything washed my hair i feel so freaking clean right now but uh the chipotle was okay it's really a hit or miss every time you go there like one day it's good one day it's bad I don't know, I either get chicken or carnitas for the meat and I stopped getting chicken for a bit just because I was getting it all the time and now I went back to carnitas and I love carnitas but I don't know what it is but I swear almost like 80% of the time that I eat Chipotle and I get carnitas or even sometimes the chicken it has all these little nervy parts in it that are like squishy or like super hard and I just like, I just don't like it I'm really really weird about meat um, and like the fatty parts in it that are like soft. I hate it so much. Um, so I don't know. And then like, yes for cheese and stuff. And like first off the lady at the freaking like in the line was like so rude. <laughs> I mean, I know that, listen, I hate being at my job sometimes too, but I'm still nice to people. She was so rude. I am probably gonna end off the vlog here because it's the end of the night and I'm not gonna be doing anything. I'm waiting for my dad to get home so I can like chill with him for a bit, say hi. And then I'm gonna go to my boyfriend's house because I work tomorrow morning and if you guys know, you guys know my boyfriend's house is closer to my job, so it's uh, a little bit easier for me to get to work in the mornings because my house is a little bit further away. But yeah, I also took a uh, day off from the gym. I'm gonna go continue editing this video so I can get this up for you guys because I haven't uploaded in literally so long. It makes me so sad that I haven't posted and I keep seeing all these people commenting on some of my videos and I'm like, I need to freaking post a video. So. I'm going to go edit this and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in my next video.